Greetings everyone, my name is Napoleon Complex and welcome to Pike and Shot Campaigns. We're fighting the Battle of Seminara today. You can see the blurb over here if you want to read a little bit about the battle. Let's get into it. And we get a little bit of a briefing as to what's going to happen. But let's get into the field. Uh, this is on Captain General difficulty, so I don't get any uh, chances to recruit new soldiers. Right. So about a disclosure, I've tried this battle once before, and I got hammered. Uh, have so, and there's a very good reason for that. Let's take a look at what we're up against. So there are four units of light horse here. That's enough to completely occupy and outclass um, my light horse here. We've got four gendarmes to one unit of gendarmes and one unit of Italian gendarmes. So we are badly outnumbered. And on top of that, <coughs> these Italian gendarmes are much weaker than the gendarmes. One to one, they might as well not be there. And of course, there's another wing of light horse on top of that, and we have nothing to oppose these guys. <coughs> and the infantry situation isn't much better. We do have a slight strength in our light foot. These arc viziers are going to be quite useful for breaking down these small units of Swiss pike. But behind that is an entire host of crossbowmen, and they will be able to shoot down our own crossbowmen simply by sheer weight of numbers. Last battle I tried to focus on the cavalry first. That didn't work, so this time I'm going to try and draw back with my cavalry. And I'm also going to start to retreat my heavy foot back towards this hill. And while that retreat is going on, I'm going to push my light foot forward and I'm going to try to hit the Swiss in the middle of their line. That will give me some shelter from the crossbow as the Swiss will advance quite quickly. And the idea is to hit the Swiss as much as possible in the middle of their line before they can make contact with my infantry. Well, the cavalry just hold back and try and distract this line a little bit. In fact, what I may do is I might send one of my units out as a distraction force. Try and draw off some of their light cavalry. Of course, here come the Swiss. They're advancing as fast as possible towards us. What does worry me is this wing of uncontested light horse. As I said, I may need to try and draw them off with my own light horse. I think that's what I'm going to have to do, because I'm not going to stand a chance if uh, I have to fight both the crossbowmen and this wing of light horse with just my foot skirmishers. And compared to this wing of eight, my uh, own light horse is so weak they might as well not be there. Ah, oh, there they go straight towards my uh, light foot. That's exactly what I was afraid they'd do. And they've just, yeah, they formed a perfect line. The AI responded perfectly to my move. Start to send my light horse inwards towards this part of the battlefield. And, uh, Keep two back and kind of start to move them forward, not to engage, but to draw forces off. Uh, continue to pull the Rodoleros back, but they should meet up with the cavalry in the center of the battlefield. I always forget this Arc Wazir unit is actually here. It doesn't look, it looks like a unit of Rodoleros. Okay. Need to choose my initial point of attack quickly, but we are focusing on punching a hole in the center. 
that's the unit I'll go for. Hopefully the enemy won't just ignore my uh, genets, and I'll take the threat at least somewhat seriously. Swiss are the priority. Okay, next turn. Poor command and control, so there's low quality art viziers. They aren't waiting for good uh, chart, the good uh, shooting opportunities. They are uh, just firing at the first thing they see. And the line split, which means that the light foot are going to get a. Uh, shot in. I was hoping that the Swiss would maintain a solid line. Okay, enemy light horse are now interfering. Hmm. Might possibly... Oh, look at that. Very efficient movement by the AI there to uh, block off my of course with this with so few resources it, it isn't hard to close my army down an unlucky disruption on the first attack there was no guarantee that would happen I just uh, was a bit unfortunate Right. I am de I'm determined to not be defeatist here. Nothing. Okay. I don't care how grim the odds are. I'm still going to try my best. Pull this unit back and set them up as a draw. Ah, okay. It's difficult to avoid mistakes when you have so few resources like this. Mm. 
That might block the light cavalry pro cavalry's progress. I don't like how they're moving past us here. It's always better if they charge and knock us back. So then we can turn an attack instead of just moving past us. Which is incidentally how I usually deal with the enemy. Skirmishers. I move past and surround them. I knew they'd charge. Maybe they'll fall, maybe they'll be driven back. At least I should be able to extract the Jeanettes from this. Good, well, okay. This distraction force is doing its job. Good. Well, we escaped there. Relatively unscathed. Yes, I know. Hmm. This unit of Swiss is becoming quite vulnerable. Okay. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Start to slip these gendarmes towards the left flank. And, uh. You know, in hindsight, I probably want these Rodoleros to be over here, as far away from those cavalry as possible. Because being the absolute maniac that I am, I'm tr actually trying to bring down the Swiss first. Just take them out of there, they're in a bad spot. Right, next turn. No, not next turn. I was going to dash them over here as well, and uh, these guys are going to have to make a heroic last stand in the village. get flanked. That unit across from them destroyed us. He wants their cart. The Swiss are just going to surround and annihilate them. But it might draw them off one unit at a time. Hmm. Actually, look at this. They're becoming quite... Um, spread out. I might be able to make use of this. The fire of those above our average Argolites is much more effective than my disrupted the Gnats. They didn't take the bait.
Okay, it's a bit of a fool's hope, but I see an opportunity here. If the Swiss continue to disperse their forces like this, we can see how much they've succeeded in shooting up this unit here. And, uh, try to take a little bit of steam out of this unit as well. They're already turned around. We can use that. Okay, these guys are almost dead from this on fire. Straight back in the line, yes, you're going to take fire. You're way too deep into the enemy's formation. Hmm, okay, just keep going. I don't like this. Let's move up and threat. Just getting shot wherever I go. I'm usually fairly good at distraction actions, but I need something to work with. Anything. I think the French are going to catch us this turn. Another very unlucky pursuit path. Why did they th feel the need to go there? You had an open path there, why would you run towards the enemy? No, it was unlucky, but it is what it is. We might have a bit of an opportunity for re revenge here. Okay, good.
course, I've got an entire parade of uh, light cavalry coming to kill me now. And that's before the Jeanettes get us. If I could have avoided losing some of these troops, we might have more of a chance. Something to bear in mind for future attempts. Even if we get past the Swiss, we've got the swarm of crossbowmen. And of course the enemy cavalry are coming to get us as well. It's always the danger when you take your attention off a flank. If they can hold on long enough, I intend to make them pay for that. The route count's just going up and up. Wow, really? Okay. mistake. That was probably my only shot and I think I muffed it. Don't taunt me like that.
I think I had a nightmare like this once. They're gonna get slammed into. I have been. I haven't played this for a while. Am I just commanding like an idiot, or is the situation really as difficult as it seems? Maybe I've made some use of this rough ground here. Pure desperation in case that does something. Okay, we managed to enter combat. It's uneven ground. I'd enter the rough, but the Swiss pikemen, even with the uh, because of their diagonal movement, they might be able to get onto the, that. You know, what, it's a learning. Ex no, and they'll probably come and attack there. I mean, I've lost at this point. Even our gendarmes are outclassed. And that's going downhill. Oh yeah, they've melted. For a second there I thought I'd forgotten to move someone. Okay, that's helpful. I'm a bit late at this point. They'll now hit them in the flank. No, I don't think they can, because uh, this is their priority target, yeah. Mm. Quality advantage above average against below average. Now, it's not quite the same as having fully below average. Uh, the POA um, difference in is a, is a bit milder than it was actually below average troops against normally above average troops. What can I do against that? There we go.
yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Napoleon Complex. Thank you for watching this. And do you see a way to win this battle? Because I don't. I'm going to need to continue to experiment with this, but I'll still upload the video. It's, worth, it's an interesting look at a very difficult battle, at least. Uh, there must be something I'm not seeing because, uh, well, I refuse to believe that it's impossible. Obviously, I just haven't come up with a good strategy yet. Uh, I tried concentrating against the cavalry last time, and that didn't work out, which is why I was trying to concentrate against the infantry this time. Um, but it is difficult to see a road to victory here. Well, anyway, farewell for now.